base 10 subtraction with regrouping. We are going to have, uh, let's do something in the thousands place. So let's do 1,123. And we're going to take away 465. So my first step is I'm going to draw that out. We're going to have a THTO for thousands, hundreds, tens, and ones, THTO. We're going to draw it out, 1,000, 100, 20, 3. So 1,123. Now, what I always tell the kids to do is first we're going to see if those numbers make sense. So we're going to square to see what we're subtracting. And when I subtract, I'm going to do it in this blue color. So I'm going to hold it for right now since all I've done is square it. First, I'm going to see if I can subtract. So I have five up here. Can I give them five? If my answer is no, I'm going to need to take a 10 and we're going to break it into its pieces. A 10 stick has 10 ones in it. So we're going to draw 10 ones, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So now I can subtract five there. I'm going to look at my tens place. I'm going to regroup everything before I even start crossing out. So everything I've regrouped is all going to be done in red so that they can see where those new values have come from and why I can't subtract in some spots or what has already been used. So my next spot is I need to have six tens. I cannot give you six tens if I only have one. So we're going to take this thousand, this hundred, sorry, this hundred, and we're going to break it into its pieces. So that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. They all have 10 pieces. So every time I regroup something, I will have a 10 where that's what you might remember is like, put a 10 on top. That's what you're doing here. So now in my ones place, I have 13 in my tens place. I have 11 and in my hundreds place, I have zero. I need to subtract 400 though. So I know I'm gonna to need to take the thousand and we're going to have to break it into its pieces. So we're gonna have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1000. This can be a tricky step. Regrouping is one of the harder skills because kids are already, um, they have a lot of that Remember, they have a lot of that idea of we don't have 10 in one place. So when I'm subtracting and regrouping, putting that 10 is really foreign from all we ask them to do in addition. So now I'm going to start subtracting. I've got my blue back out and we're going to take off. Normally I try and take it where I will take my originals first and then I'll go into my new ones unless I have a really friendly number. So if I have like nine, it's a lot easier to cross out just nine of these. So a lot of it is based on what feels more natural and what is more comfortable. So our first is we take a five. So normally I would have taken from the original, but since I had a five and that's super easy to cross out when I built them in fives, I'm gonna cross out my regrouped instead of my original. Now we're gonna go to 60. So we have five and six where we can check below. I'm gonna refrain from checking on them just so that you guys can see better. And then we're gonna take out 400. So let's take that little one off the bottom. Let's take one row off. So we have one, two, three, four, crossed out. So now I've used all of my numbers. I've crossed everything out. We can check it. 400, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 460, five. We've crossed everything we need to cross out. So now we can count for our answer, five, six, seven, eight in our ones place. We have five in our tens place and we have six in our hundreds place. So our answer is going to be 658. Regrouping is always the harder skill, but the pictures do tend to be one of the easiest ways for them to keep track and easily be able to see what they're doing. So definitely try practicing this at home.